researcher in the field of gastroenterology, and a lot of people don't know this, but our digestive systems are abundant in many different kinds of bacteria. Some of them are labeled as beneficial or good for us, and then some are labeled as harmful. But the important thing is, is the food and the things that we're putting in our body can actually shift that so we can have more beneficial bacteria if we're living a healthy lifestyle, which is gonna be overall good for our health. Or if we're eating a lot of processed foods, you know, smoking or drinking a lot of alcohol, then you might have more harmful bacteria that might have an effect on your heart or other organs. And so here's the really cool thing. This study found that the composition of those bacteria in our gut might actually be responsible for cognitive decline, specifically age-related cognitive decline. But here's the super cool thing. The researchers basically separated everybody into three different groups, depending on the types of bacteria that were present in their digestive system. So people that had more similar gut microbiomes would be in the same cluster or group. And then they did something called fMRIs and EEGs to measure brain activity depending on those types of bacteria that were in the gut, okay? And they noticed that those people that had more diverse gut microbiomes with more beneficial gut bacteria, yeah, those people had more brain activity in areas that were important for language, memory, and emotional processing. And then the researchers did further analysis and they correlated that with better cognitive function as we age. So this study shows that with proper nutritional intervention that really focuses on the best gut health possible, that we may actually be able to slow age-related diseases.